Right, the Campark 4K HD action camera. Let's see what else you get in the case here. Well, first off, the whole lot comes in this great little case so you can carry the accessories around. Obviously, oh, sorry, I just missed that before. Uh, the batteries pack separately nowadays. Good little case if you want it if you're on the move with foam inside to keep the thing pr protected. You've got a skeleton case and a backpack clip. This clips into the back of this, like so, very lightweight, means you can mount the camera in the skeleton case. It's got a tripod screw on it, but also when I'm paragliding, I just clip it onto the chin guard of my paragliding helmet, but you can clip it onto the strap of a jacket or kite surfing harness or whatever. You've got a handlebar mount, various mounts that go into these mounts. Of course, you've got the standard GoPro type mount and these, these mounts clip into that so that you can then attach the waterproof case. You've got some cable ties, you've got some straps, USB charging cable. You've got a couple of stick-on mounts and the stick-on pads are in the bag with the cable ties along with a, a wire securing loop for securing the camera. Two small tripod mounts, one male and one female. You've got an open back, ventilated back for the waterproof case, which will allow some noise in. And you've got the manual, which at first glance looks pretty good. Well, you've got the case, which looks nicely made, already got a bracket attached to it. And of course, it's got a closed back for water sports use. Bracket already on, as I say, these slide into these brackets here so that you can stick this on a skateboard or onto a helmet. And there you go. Right, get into the case. Slide this little catch over with your fingernail. Flip the catch. And away you go. Well, there's the camera. Looks to me like, even without looking in the manual, that's the battery slot. Ah, yes, I'd forgotten. This actually comes with two batteries. So you get the battery already in the camera and you get a spare battery, which gives you quite a lot of endurance when you're out and about. OK, well, let's get it on charge. Slip in an SD card. Obviously doesn't come with one. Maximum 64 gig. And usually they recommend class 10 or above for these kind of cameras. Right, I'll come back to you in a minute. Well, as usual, I haven't read the manual yet, but we've got a red light flashing here, which I'd say probably says it's charging. Perhaps I should take a look at the manual. Yes, as I thought, the red LED is bright when the product is charging up the battery and it turns off when the quantity of electricity is enough. Forgot to mention too that inside the accessory pack, you've got this little card. Thanks for your favour of our product. Contact us if there's any problems. Email support at Campark. Are you satisfied? You can leave valuable reviews on our product detail page or email us. Campark team email support at campark.cn. That's good to see. At least they put a contact address in there. Right, the Campark Extreme I Plus UHD 4K action camera. Let's take a closer look. On the front here, you've got a 170 degree wide angle lens. You've got the power on off button. Press it for two or three seconds and you turn on. And short press in combination with other buttons gets you through the menu. You've also got a little LED here, which is the blue Wi-Fi light. And you've got an LED light. You can turn this on and off in the menu, which probably helps when you're videoing close subjects in very dark conditions. Also, it has a function called SOS, but it doesn't actually flash SOS as such, but it does flash. So I guess if you're in a situation somewhere in the dark where you were stuck, it could be useful as a safety aid. Never seen that before on a camera. In the base here, you've got the battery compartment. I mentioned it comes with two batteries looks very much like the standard kind of battery that you get in quite a few cameras. The Git, the Firefly, SJ Cam 
and physically same dimensions as a GoPro slightly fatter than the um, Firefly in fact almost identical dimensions to the SJ Cam 5000X so but to get back to this camera on this end you've got the micro SD card slot USB charging and HD out on the top here you've got another little LED that flashes when the Wi-Fi is on and the OK button which is the shutter button and is also used in combination with the two scrolling buttons on the side here to work through the menu and on the back of course you've got this two inch LCD screen as far as the battery goes they claim a battery life of nine zero minutes 90 minutes and as I mentioned you actually get a spare battery which is nice right to turn on press and hold two or three seconds and it plays a nice little jingle and you're on I should mention too that this isn't a clone of another camera Cam Park actually manufacture their own cameras and as far as support goes when I had a problem with the app and I messaged them I had a, an answer within 24 hours but I'll come back more to the app in a bit so as you can see nice screen on the back it's obviously also it's on auto power down at the moment or screensaver mode of one minute you can change that in the menu so I'll just wake it up you've got battery life there you've got the Wi-Fi symbol you've got TF card inserted you've got how much capacity is left and because I've pressed OK I've started recording I'm in 1080 at 60 feet per second mode in video mode obviously and I've got audio turned on and I've got the time displayed there um, and obviously because I took the battery out at some point to check the size it's reset the time but you've actually got the time and date running at the bottom there you've got a countdown of the video time and you've got a blue LED flashing there which is telling you that you're recording I mentioned before that when it's charging there's a red LED that flashes there which goes out once it's fully charged press the shutter button again and it stops I'd also point out that once the screensaver has kicked in as is common with quite a few of action cameras you've got to press the button once to wake up the screen second press will turn it off and likewise as you saw once it's gone to sleep first press wakes it up second press will start it recording so to move on to scroll through the various modes here short press of the power button on the front puts me into camera mode 16 meg and it's still telling me I've got 19 gig free on my card there's a slow motion mode which I tested and I'll stick a bit of that in the test clips 720 at 90 frames a second press again you're in playback mode which plays back with audio press again you're in settings menu for the video camera so if I press the shutter button now as you can see I'm into a a video menu so you've got video resolution if I press the shutter button now I can scroll through using these up and down to go through whichever video mode I want and as you can see you've got 4k at 30 frames a second 2.7k at 30 frames a second 1080 at 60 1080 at 30 720 at 90 720 at 60 720 at 30 I tested the 4k at 30 it is a genuine 30 frames a second and I but I'd imagine the 4k is interpolated I haven't actually checked that I like to stick to 1080 at 60 frames a second for action sports so if I want to select that let's say I want to select 2k at 70 I select that and press the shutter button and now I'm in video resolution 2.7 30 so recording sound is turned on time-lapse press the shutter button now and as you can see you've got close 5 seconds 2 seconds 5 seconds 30 seconds so pretty good time-lapse menu I'll leave it on close you've got loop recording if you want to use it in a car 
and I'd imagine it will auto power on. Not sure, I didn't see it in the menu. Slow motion, various settings for that. And that's the end of that one. So now if I press the power button again, I'm in the settings menu for the camera and so on. Timed, which is in fact a delay timer so that you can take a selfie, put it on a wall somewhere. Auto, which in fact is periodic photos. Drama shot is in fact burst photos. So photo resolution you've got 16 meg, 12 meg, 8 meg, 5 meg. I'll leave it at 16. Press the power button again. I've got white balance, Wi-Fi, image rotation so that you can turn it upside down. Oh, driving mode. Driving mode no doubt means it powers up when you connect the USB. Light source, LED indicator light on off, white LED on or off, which I mentioned, auto screensaver. I'm going to change that to hmm, oh, 30 seconds is max. It does turn off very quickly then. Right, can't make it more. Auto shutdown, five minutes, time watermark. That means do you want to do you want to have the date time on the screen? And so on. Right. Press the power button again. I'm in a different settings menu. I must say of, of cameras I've tested, this is pretty intuitive. You soon get into using this. Date time, change it, reset, reset firmware version. This, this firmware version was actually very recent. It was middle of July, so, and we're now just August. So that, I would imagine that's the most recent. I couldn't find an update. So to come out of, come out of that back into normal video mode, Press the power button till you are on the little X. Press OK to exit. Press OK, that's that one. And right, now a motorcycling test. And I'm going to put the open back on for this. It's just the question of clipping the back in and out of the back of the frame like that. It comes in and out quite easily. Close back, obviously, for underwater use and the open back if you want some sound in. So let's see how it goes on my motorbike. Right well there's the camera mounted on the side of my motorcycle helmet. I've used an extra stand off there so that I get the horizon horizontal. And I did read another reviewer saying that these brackets here wouldn't slide into GoPro mounts. Well I've got a couple of mounts on mine from different cameras and it certainly fits the mounts that I've got from other action cameras so I think it perhaps it does fit a GoPro mount. Right let's get on the road.
And now it's time for Captain Bob's famous really dark pub test. And this is a very dark pub inside, so let's go and see how this camera performs. Always got in an ear, aren't you? Oh, oh, good to see you're not drinking alcohol. I've never drink alcohol. Right, the Campark Ultra HD 4K action camera. Good little budget action camera. Particularly good range of accessories, including even a spare battery. And you get this great little case. It'd make a really good present for somebody, I think, this whole this whole thing. And currently priced at about 6060 UK pounds. Colours were good, sharpness was good, and the menu system with its little icons, very intuitive and easy to operate. Battery life at about nine zero minutes was good. And with two batteries you're gonna potentially you've got three hours recording if you're out and about. You've also got this little card here with a support email address which is pretty useful with a with any action camera I'd say. On the downside the manual wasn't the best I've seen although you'd get there in the end because it's quite an intuitive easy to use camera. Plus I had some problems with the app that the Q code takes you to. The app on the Q code was Chinese although I did find it on Google Play Store uh, but it wouldn't work on my phone anyway but that may be my phone it's Motorola G which has given me problems with most phone apps. But all in all, 60 quid with all this stuff, yeah, not bad at all actually. So um, thanks for watching and uh, have some fun.